Good. Later, son. You must be the new lad from Bentonville. I'm the senior officer on Sea Wing, Russell Morgan. James Malahide, Jimmy. So, what made you sign up then? I was in the services. Couldn't settle into civvies. My wife's just had a baby. Ah, uh, 14 years, three par of me. The period is one hour, 9.30 at 10.30. We keep them coming, unless it rains. Good morning, Stanley. Your governor coming back then, is he? Why, yours not. You see her on TV this morning. Not exactly what you call Baywatch material, is she? <laughs> That's Edward Maynard's runner. Carries all his messages back and forwards for him like a feather. Well, the chap is Harry Rand's wife, Good study, bud. Cigarette. You know who I am. Extra, aren't you? Mr. Maynard needs some advice. Have you written Maynard book? Right. Yeah. His big mothers look after yeah. Maynard. They off for them, are they? Mr. Morgan. I said later, son. That's Roddy Marsh. Dear, it's his grandmother, didn't he? Aye, he's a vegetarian now. What's your problem? You've got a pet thief, Mr. Morgan, on Sea Wing. All right, son, yes, sir. Go on then. He wants your step, Marky. Good morning, Governor. Big breakfast go all right then, did it? With that guy. Oh, he's harmless enough. Just keeps on getting over the wall. We've got to keep him in the shelter area till he lands some sense. Don't they have those stripes and pen, though, then? Oh, yeah. Just never seen them used, that's Oh, it. you don't see them used much these days. Bloody prison watchdogs reckon they're too humiliating. Yeah, but I was told that there'd be no loss of me privileges. Just 21 days punishment? Hang about. You're doing four years, right? Yeah. You lost 21 days, so you're telling me you're going out on your old date? Yeah, man. But what about you doing chalky for headbutt in that school? You get 21 days, right? Yeah, they just said my time went on pause. Well, if your time went on pause, when did it start again? When I got back to me, Pat. No way. You got 21 days extra. They gotta be done. You sure about that? How long would he have? I don't know. Piss off! There's money in this for you. Get it sent to your wife. You sure it'd take 20 minutes before the scream went up? No, the riot went down 40 minutes. I'd go for it. Robin all night, now it started bleeding. All right, let's have a look. Come on over there. Which one? All right, Aaron, we'll get it fixed. Go on, son, Scarper. Now, look, if you're right, and you say your time did not go on pause, and you say none of your no. privileges were taken away, you should be entitled to them. Yeah. But they usually put them at the end of your EDR, so if you've got three months, well, where did they put them? Bring it, push me! I don't know. Piss off! What you've got to do is ask them to explain. Ask CSO. Mr. Morgan, can I have a word? Inside, Brian. Go on. So, now you met some of the players. What do you think? OK. I think I can handle it. Mr. Morgan, there's something going down. Big. I think it's a delivery. Bugger off, son. Welcome to Barfield. So was made a dental appointment for prisoner Howard Webster for the clock's afternoon. Anything you need? Thought you were very good this morning. I didn't. Oh, Mavis, um, was there any kind of press release from HQ? I checked the fax machine. Everything okay? You missed your rounds this morning. Mr. Lyons isn't here, but I've shown young Malahide the ropes. 
Bit of aggro going down. And oh, he's the, um, the new officer? Yep. I think you'll settle in all right. Prisoner 435 Jack Bulmer has complained that he has lost phone cards, two one-ounce packets of tobacco, a Game Boy, four games, a Sony Walkman and some tapes. Also got a good informant on the wing who seems to think something's coming in. Like what? Dixon's opening a branch? Anyway, I've put it in my report. Lads sometimes make stuff up. Mr Marshall coming back, is he? I've not been informed by HQ. But then... I wasn't privy to the press release about the refurbishment costs either. Is that true? You're going to spend 60 million on this place? I really have no idea. It's in the Independent. We recorded the breakfast show in the club. I bet you did, Mr Morgan. I had five phone cards. And Mark, next bad, he asked me if he can borrow one of my phone cards. I tell him no because I know he won't pay me for it, right? I come back from association last night and my pad's been cleaned out. And this morning on exercise, I heard a rumor that somebody in D wing has been offered one. And someone in this wing's been offered one too. It's really got me down, Miss Hewitt. I mean, that Game Boy is worth at least 15 phone cards. All right, Jack, I'll see what I can do. But you know it's against prison regulations to do these trade-offs. Eh? Now, Webster. You've made him a 4 p.m. dental appointment? That's right. Morning. Uh, morning. Uh, what time's Dr. Thomas due? Two o'clock. But Webster needs a dentist. I think we should have a new arrangement with a doctor. And as things stand at the moment, if the inmates want to see him, they have to wait until two. So? Well, it clashes with their visiting things. If they have to see the doctor, then they miss their visit. And they won't miss their visit. OK. Won't take it. Thank you. I'd like to see Mr. Andrews as soon as possible, please. Yes. Can I do some No, I'd like to speak to him personally. Thank you. Dr. Thomas is here. Oh, good, show him in. Oh, and Mavis, was there anything from the press office? It's the governor. I'd like you to use the inserts on the cuffs for Webster. Howard Webster, prisoner 533. He has a dental appointment this afternoon. Yes, secure. Well, he's already absconded twice, so... Thank you. Dr Thomas, I've told you she's waiting. See you in a minute. Don't get involved. He's got a shocking reputation. As what? The ladies' man. Belongs to the same golf club as me, husband, different one every weekend. They're not golfing partners. Did we get a fax from HQ? Well, I do have quite a busy practice, but there's four of us, so yeah, I should be able to. Good. It's just that if the men have an appointment at the same time as their visit, then either they don't get the visit or they don't get their appointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can leave it with me. I'll, I'll see you Thanks. Uh, I thought I'd put it on your desk. It's only the press release from the article in The Independent. Could you give me two minutes? Uh, actually, I'm sorry I can't. I should go on my duty. Oh, well, don't let me detain you. OK. And I'll sort out those duty periods. It was faxed in late, and um, we had the six o'clock TV call. I mean, I mean, you couldn't have seen it anyway. In future, Mavis, anything that comes in for me from HQ, anything at all, you get it to me. I looked a total this morning. It's headquarters, Mr. Andrew's secretary. You're free for dinner? <laughs> no, I'm Mr. sorry. But I didn't say which night. How about Tuesday or Thursday? No, no, excuse me. Well, Saturday night then. <clears throat> Mr. Andrews can see you this afternoon, Miss Hewitt, at three o'clock. Oh, bugger it, now I have to go back into town. I'm sorry, do you want me to change? No! Eh? no. Did me this with me dates on Sand. They said that explains it. Does it? No. Somebody gonna do something about my stolen property? Jack, be a good lad. Come get your dinner back in your cell. Mr. Malahite! Get lock up, sir. Come on. Move. What's up, you? 
Mavis, Miss Hewton. What? Well, could you ask Mr. Marshall as soon as he comes in to come down to Sea Wing? I think we may have a problem. Good news, lads. Gary's back.